Why do new investors lose money? In this video, I will attack this question with my own personal experience. And after watching this video, you can learn from my mistakes so you don't have to make the same mistakes and lose money. Watch till the end because all these points are so important and I wish I knew before I started investing. So number one is FOMO, fear of missing out. This is the number one key reason of why investors lose money. The fear of losing out makes people more triggered to invest in something they don't quite understand fully. And that is with cryptocurrency and marijuana stock. To give you an example, I am going to show you my loss from my Robinhood app. So this is my Robinhood app. Currently you can see that my portfolio is at $11,139. And you can see that in my all time chart, I actually lost 11.19%. $1,400 and a majority of this is due to cryptocurrency. So I'm just going to show you my documents over here, account summary, tax documents, and I'll click into crypto. So over here, you can see that my net gain or loss just in 2018, that is already $1,995.88. So this made up the majority of my portfolio loss. If we just look at the all time chart over here, around this time, the end of 2018, is a time when I lost 3,000 something dollars. And 2,000 of that is from cryptocurrency. So this just goes to say how you should never have the fear of missing out and invest in something that you don't fully understand in. I only understood the very basic surface level of how cryptocurrency works. And because I was so scared of missing out at mid 2018, I decided to buy a lot of cryptocurrency, especially Ethereum, because at that time, that was the next big thing. People were like, oh, Bitcoin is already over. You have to invest in Ethereum, which is up and coming. And so I invested so much money into cryptocurrency and honestly lost it all. And because of my fear of losing out, I did not do enough research before I actually invested in Ethereum. And this is one mistake that I am still paying for. My portfolio is currently down by 11% by $1,400 because I lost so much money from crypto and I'm still trying to recoup my losses from doing dividend investing. You can see that my portfolio currently is going up little by little, but um, overall my all time chart still shows a loss. After doing that for my one year chart, you can see that I'm actually up by 8.5% by $871, almost $872, which is a good sign. But at the same time, I could have earned way more, gained way more from the stock market if I did not have FOMO, fear of missing out. And number two is that new investors usually get driven by emotions. Remember when the Chinese stocks were plummeting because of the trade war and a lot of people were so afraid of buying Chinese stock and the stock prices were so low. Let's just look at one example. Let's look at Alibaba. So my average cost is $175.76, which I think is a pretty good position because I really believe in this company. And let's just look at the uh, three month chart you can see this huge dip over here and over here and it's because of the trade war that is what made the stock so volatile and the reason why the stock is so volatile partially it is also driven by people's emotions people were scared people were scared because of the trade war so they sell and because a lot of people panic sell the stock goes down even more, even further. So this is why it is so important to almost think the opposite way of the regular human emotion. You buy when everyone's fearful and you sell when everyone's greedy. I am kind of paraphrasing Warren Buffett's famous quote. I don't remember it word by word, but the central message is that you should never be a sheep. You should never do something following the crowd. 
because that is how new investors or the majority of investors lose. They decide according to their emotions, they follow other people like sheep, and therefore they are unable to make money in the stock market. And number three is that they do not diversify. Diversifying is so, so, so important. A lot of new investors, they think buying individual stock just sounds sexier than buy into index funds. Or maybe the concept of buying individual stocks sound easier to understand than buying into index funds. So that's why they invest in the easier to understand and sexier individual stock. But because individual stocks are so volatile, yes, it is possible that you can double your money within a year with individual stock. I've seen it happen, but it is also equally likely to lose all your money within a year with individual stock. Let me just show you an example. This stock I have in my portfolio, which is losing by a lot. And initially I bought into it thinking that I knew what I was doing. This is Tilray, the Canadian marijuana stock. My average cost is $141.24. I bought two shares of it and my current equity is $64. The current market price of the stock is $32.01. So overall, I'm losing by 77% and by $218. Honestly, this would not have happened if I diversified and bought into index funds. Very rarely do you see an index fund go down by this much because what an index fund is, is that it is a collection of many different stocks, a percentage of each stock in the mix. And depending on what kind of index fund you buy, you get a mix a variety of different company stocks. So buying into an index fund will diversify your investment in and of itself. And yes, it does not sound as sexy and because it's less risky, it is also less return. But I really believe that for new investors, you should not treat investing as something that can help you get rich overnight. All the big investors out there, including Warren Buffett, believes in long-term investment strategy. Any YouTuber who tells you you can get rich overnight or double your money in no time, those are scams. It is impossible. Even Warren Buffett, one of the most successful investors in history, tells you that you should invest for long term and not think about getting rich overnight. And this leads me to point number four. New investors not only fail to diversify and their decisions are driven by emotions and they have a fear of missing out, they also invest for the short term. A lot of the times, the thought of multiplying your number in twofold, the thought of doubling your money, doubling your investments, that sounds super sexy. But it is so difficult to time the market. Even the most successful investors do not recommend short-term investment strategy. Thinking about getting rich overnight or doubling your money within a week or a month is simply not realistic. Does it happen? Is it possible? Yeah, it, it is possible. If you try to gamble in Vegas, you can probably see people or hear stories about people getting rich from gambling. But for the majority of the time, the house wins. That's why these casinos are still operating till this day. Imagine if people can just get rich quick from gambling, get rich quick from casinos, then why would there even be casinos? Why would casinos still be in business? The whole reason of why casinos are still in business is because the house wins for the majority of the time and individual people, individual gamblers win sometimes. But sometimes these stories get exaggerated and a lot of people think, oh, it must be easy to win money from gambling. So therefore I am going to gamble and not work and just fingers crossed win the gamble. Investing for the short term to me is like gambling. You can look at the charts for the majority of stocks and see how volatile they are for the most part. Just take Alibaba as an example, which I just showed you. It's super volatile. If you're just investing for, let's say a week or two, you don't know where you're going to land. Maybe you are lucky and you land a very low market price 
and the stock only goes up from there. But that's not guaranteed. You can also land on one of the price hills and then the stock just goes down from there. So that's why it is so important to invest for long term. And on top of that, there is also the tax aspect of your investments. If you invest for a short term within a year, if you gain money, it is going to be categorized as short term capital gains and you will end up paying more in taxes. If you invest in the long run, your gains will be categorized as long-term capital gains, and you will be able to pay less in taxes. When we look at the Visa stock price, for example, in the past 10 years, in the 2008 recession, Visa stock also went down by 40%. Imagine if you're investing for a short run, if you just happen to invest during that time frame and your stock goes down by 40%. With the short-term investing mindset, what are you gonna do if your investments went down by 40%? The logical thing to do is that you're gonna sell because you're not holding the stock for the long run. And that's what a lot of people did. Visa's financials were fine at that time, but a lot of people were driven by emotion and they were scared seeing the stock price go down. Only when you have the mindset of investing in the long run will you be unaffected by these external changes. A stock is going to be volatile. That is the nature of an individual stock. If you want low volatility, you should invest in an index fund. But regardless of your investment distribution, whether you're investing in more stocks or index funds, you should always consider your investments for the long run. So these are the four major mistakes that new investors make that cause them to lose a lot of money when they first get started. Can you think of any other reasons why new investors would lose money? Also let me know in the comments. I read every single comment and respond to every single comment. See you in my next personal finance video.